In this video, I'm going to show you how to transfer your files from your Zoom H4n recorder to your Mac without a card reader. Hi and welcome or welcome back to DIY Film with Merle Becker, the channel where I help you make better videos. As always, stick around to the end of the video for a bonus tip. Okay, so if you've watched some of my other videos, you know I love the Zoom recorders. They're great for capturing clean dialogue or sound effects or recording voiceover and so much more. But once you've recorded your sound on your Zoom, you're going to need to transfer your files to your computer so that you can edit. Zoom files are recorded to an SD card, so if you have a card reader, you're in luck. And if you don't have a card reader, you're still in luck. You can do it with a USB cable. So let's show you how. You'll need a USB cable that connects to your computer on one end and has a mini B connection on the other. It looks like this. First, start with your Zoom recorder turned off. Next, plug in your USB cable to both your computer and your Zoom recorder. And once you do that, the Zoom should turn on automatically. On the Zoom, you should now see the option to select storage. Push the wheel on the side to select it, and you'll get a window that says USB storage and these arrows will be blinking. That means your Zoom recorder is connected to your computer and it's now acting like an external hard drive. So now you can go to your computer desktop and click on the Zoom icon and navigate to the folder that has your audio files. If you were recording in stereo, pick the stereo folder and expand the subfolders. Drag your media files to your computer. And once you're done, you can drag the individual files from the Zoom recorder to the trash and empty the trash. Then eject your Zoom recorder from your desktop the same way you would eject a drive. Select the icon and hit Command E for eject. Once the icon disappears from your desktop, you can then safely unplug your Zoom. Sometimes you'll still have the blinking arrows on the Zoom, but as long as the icon is gone from your desktop, you're fine. And that's it, my friends. So the next time you forget your card reader, don't sweat it. Grab a USB and go. All right, let's do that tip. When it comes to my Zoom, I like it to be ready to record. That means clean cards and fresh batteries. In order to keep it this way, I always wipe the cards right after I transfer the files to my computer. With this in mind, I always make a duplicate of my files on my computer, every time. To illustrate, here I'm transferring files from my Zoom, and you can see I have an extra drive hooked up to my computer where I'm dragging a second copy of those files. Once everything is transferred, I make sure all the files are in in both places. Then I delete what's on the Zoom. Now my Zoom is ready to zoom off to my next shoot with no time spent reviewing, deleting, or wondering if it's been backed up yet. Done and done. All right, as always, if you found any of this to be helpful, please give the video a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the bell so you know when the next one is posted, and I will catch you next time.